I be a supportive? It kind of falls into the same thing, right? You know, I want to have time with my wife. I want to look. I don't know how different I am than most people, but I've actually told my kids in a, a loving way, but a clear way. It's like, no, I married her. I love you guys. I chose to have you guys. But my goal for you is for you to go out and have your life and ultimately come back and share it with me. And, and we're a family. But when you're gone, she's still here. That's not just your mom, you know, and that's how I see it. So no, that you are that one. spot on. Uh, um, but the the how do I is it's about parenting. Yes. How do I be a supportive parent without break, breaking the bank? Because, you know, new hobbies or interests can be very expensive, whether it's, you know, Y'all hey, do, do you do Boy Scouts? Uh, uh, do you do rec a ball? little bit? Do you do anything organized? Because that, that's what I'm hitting at. It's like school, yeah. organized stuff, all of a sudden goes cha ching, cha ching, cha ching, cha ching. Real. Oh, fun. yeah. Yeah. Our, our kids for a while there were bouncing between various sports, and all of a sudden you got to gotta have all the different sports equipment and, and everything. And so that is a chunk of change. And then by the next season, especially if they're little, they're, they've grown out of everything. So you have to get them brand new cleats, brand new, all kinds of stuff. And um, so, yeah, so it can definitely be, be tough uh, on, on the wallet. And I, I mean, it's a, it's a huge time sink too, to be a supportive parent. It, it is time consuming. Um, but you can also, try to find in your area other parents who have similar age kids and maybe they've grown out of a hobby or grown out of equipment that you can get secondhand instead oh, of buying new. Yes. I mean, yeah. how, how often do you hear of people, oh, my kid, he wanted a guitar. He played it for, he tried learning it for like a month and then gave up on it. You know, you can find secondhand stuff that is going to be a lot cheaper than buying everything brand new. Now it takes a little bit more um, asking around, more time to ask around or look up. Um, I don't know. I don't. <laughs> I haven't been on Craigslist in a long time, but you know that was. I, I used to go on Craigslist every now and again whenever I wanted to buy something to take a look at. Like that's where I got. Uh, me and my wife bought a couple of of Nintendo DSs before road trip when we were early married, and we bought them on. Craigslist and we saved a whole bunch of money on buying a new one and we got a bunch of games with it. So like you can definitely find stuff secondhand if you're will if you if you're willing to be somewhat patient if if there's not an immediate need and um and if you can uh, can wait for stuff to pop up. Um so yeah. But a lot of times the the flits of passion for kids are fleeting um and so i, I almost kind of wonder if if you can get your kids to have a patient mindset like that if sometimes they'll be like oh no i'm not interested in that anymore and then you can just avoid it altogether but at that point are you truly being a supportive parent or are you testing to see if they're actually wanting to do it you know what i mean yeah what are your thoughts I like it. Um, well, first off, you know, we were talking about that used gear. That That is key. Um, Oak, or no, Ryland, uh, we've had a hard time getting him to plug in and engage. We've tried 4-H. We've tried all kind of different things. And he was just like, nap, 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 nap. And Little League Baseball grabbed him. And not travel ball, because mm -hmm, not doing that. <laughs> you wouldn't know. I'm not a millionaire. And I do work for a living, so I ain't got time for all that jazz. Uh, but just regular little league baseball. And it does, I mean, besides whatever it costs, it's, it's subsidized through the county at the, the county recreation department uh, here. And there's still a fee that we have to pay. That's not ridiculous, but it's it's somewhat up there. Um, we're talking about one of four kids doing something. And then you got to, you know, get some equipment and then every time that you know team mom wants to get you know everybody t-shirts and all this other stuff and it's all optional but it racks up fast but the biggest thing is you're know, having to get the gloves and the ball the bats and the, the i think the helmets come with it but they require a certain type of bat now my father-in-law he just this is one of his strengths slash weaknesses 
he will just go and buy the stuff for the kid, you know, but I like what you're talking about because I have a ton of gear that I don't want to just donate. Oh, well, I mean, I donate to like, like you, Joe, if you're like, Hey, my son starts playing baseball. What do you got? Absolutely. Let me go through and see. Yeah. If it's a means. friend I mean, or like, something. I don't want to just give it to Goodwill, but I would love to maybe get on a website and say, Hey, here's check eBay or something. Here's a, a much less expensive way to get into it. Um, just ask for money. Uh, just ask money for kids sports. He's like, listen, Milano did. <laughs> oh, man. She um, got dragged so bad for that. <laughs> yeah, when you have the ability. Now, we don't know her finances. We don't. You know, we don't. Oh, know yeah. There's plenty of celebrities who have spent all their money and that don't yeah. have any of it anymore. You know, I mean, she, she hasn't really done a ton of acting lately. Right. Now, you got to imagine. The stuff she did do in the past is she probably gets some residuals for, but when's the last time you heard of who's the boss? Uh, but it's probably on Nick at night or somewhere, right? So there's residuals there. Charmed, the original series uh, she mm -hmm. was in. And then there was other things. Those are two I remember. But yeah, you know, um, but, but you do have to understand when your name is still recognizable at that level for you to come out and be like, help my kid play ball. Like, mm. <laughs> Uh -huh. No, good. Um, what were some of your other suggestions? Uh, yeah, finding secondhand stuff was was a big one, um, but also let your kids know that you're looking for secondhand stuff and ask them to be patient and maybe even include them in the process of looking for it, so that it teaches them a life skill on being able to find good deals yeah. online um, and to spot potential scams online too uh, especially with like facebook marketplace oh, where yeah. where there's there i don't know if facebook marketplace has any rules on it but there are so many scam listings on facebook marketplace and so being able to spot something that seems credible versus something that is obviously a scam can be a very good skill for your kids to learn um but yeah but it, it, it that teaches them to spot scams, it teaches them how to be frugal, it teaches them patience, it teaches them a lot of really good life skills if you include them in that process. So. I agree, and you make it a positive more than a negative. Uh, one, one of the things we've done is openly talk about when somebody's sporting that, that I'm making this up, but then you know, that high-end Nike baseball cleat and the name brand bat and all that's like, it's going to get just as dirty as these shoes. And you know how much that's, let's say they cost, those shoes cost 200 bucks. We could have bought you shoes, bat, ball, took you to Chuck E. Cheese. All, I mean, and we do some of that stuff too sometimes yeah. to teach them, hey, when you save money, you have more to do other things with and make it a fun thing. I remember, did you do hand-me-downs when you were a kid? Did oh, you yeah. Get other people's? And oh, I got yeah. somewhat made fun of it. Uh, for it because we were poor and we were poor. My mom always had that. Well, we can't, but you know what I had at 15 Joe in the nineties, Michael Close. Jordan <laughs> air, uh, Nike, no. Nike, uh, high tops. There you go. You had the pumps even. Mm -hmm. I had to rebuy pumps as well. And, uh, but those, and those were the big brand things And this person had outgrown them. They were like brand one pair. She's hadn't even worn. Now, had I had known things about sneakers, I would have held those Mikey, Jor My Mikey Jordans. That's the wish version. The Mikey, Mikey. Jordan. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Uh, that's what they say when you walk. Anyway, <laughs> you make it, but if you make it a positive, like my kids love to go thrifting. Now that, that is helpful in our society that our society has used the term thrifting versus used and, and those kind of things. Yeah, But it really well, is good stuff. And you don't need to get them everything and the biggest and the best of it get get the, the cheap stuff and get the bare minimum until uh, to gauge interest because kids attitudes towards stuff is often fleeting and so don't don't go full ham on it until you know that your kids are willing to put in the time um yeah that, that will save you a ton of money in the long run too if you approach it like that uh like when I first got into podcasting, even I I started off with a really a, a junky headset, to be completely honest, that I was recording off of. And over time, I've built up what I'm using now, um, which is 
a million times better than what I started off as. And it's and that's what you should do with your kids' hobbies too, is approach it the same way. You you get them entry level stuff because they are entry level people. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. hundred percent. I didn't mean to interrupt you. I was just preach, man. And they are entry level. <laughs> remember that, see, that's more important to me about the story than the money is remember. Your kid is not the next LeBron James. They just they just aren't. LeBron James's kid is not the next LeBron James. <laughs> that's not something I think Joe's ready to discuss was, on the show. I was thinking the same thing. Yeah. Yeah, he got recruited because <sighs> of nepotism, but that's... It sure did. Uh, not that he can't be good. He might be better than most people out there, but yeah, it's, <laughs> that's, that's mm -hmm. a bad thing there. But yeah, I'm with you. Uh, also, go local. Even if you're not a church person, which I would argue I am not. I definitely grew up in church. I know the system, so. And if a church is offering something, it's the same as paying to the county, except your payment is they have to come to, like, Wednesday night service or something, right? But there are some churches that definitely put on basketball leagues. Upward, UP, like up, W-A-R-D, like the direction, upward, altogether. Churches... We'll do that for basketball leagues, and that's how my kids got started. You weren't talking about try it out because they're beginners. They're seeing if they like it. That was perfect. The fees were well under hundred bucks per person. I'm like we're we're when we were broke and had the two older kids ready to go to that age, about six and seven, you know, somewhere in there, five and six. We were able to afford to have both of them get into the league because it's highly subsidized through these programs. It's a Christian ministry type thing. So yeah, they had to read some Bible verses. They had to, uh, you know, do the prayer before the game a little bit, but to me, that's payment. And I told them, that's like, look, whatever you believe or don't believe, we'll figure that out. I mean, they're six and seven, right? We, we started the basics of those conversations, but that's your payment because you want to go play sports. So this is your way to go play sports because everything was included all the stuff there is basketball. I think they had a baseball one, but our area never really picked up on the baseball one, but yeah, those kind of things. Um, yeah. Uh, and you're right. Randa, he got recruited to put butts in seats, uh, father, son niche to build interest, but also, also, uh, officials. I, I don't know if he's a coach or what, but I know he's an official with the team said, no, he straight up got, got, uh, uh, recruited because of nepotism. Because his daddy said that he would quit and go to some other team. To whatever team picked up his son. <laughs> yeah, to whatever team picked up his son. He would just go play there. You know, you're probably you're right on part of it. But that that that's another talk for another night, Joe, about when to let your kids go. And, yeah. And let party fingers. Fail. Let them be their own people. Yeah. <laughs> and make it on their own.